today's workout is going to be an upper body and cardio workout. So we're going to do 30 seconds of each move. This is a body weight workout, no equipment needed. All you need is some water. If you have a mat, you can get a mat. It is optional. And we're going to start with a two minute warm up. Let's just do some easy arm circles. Get the upper body warmed up. How are you feeling today? Why are you here? What brought you here? Opposite way. Clasp the arms up. Hold it one side. Center, other side. We're going to do some gentle leg swings. Always remember to hydrate before your workout, during your workout, and after your workout. Switch legs. One side balance is always better than the other. So if you notice that, about hip width apart and you're going to gently stretch down to your shin, pull, come back up. If you can only go to your shin, it's okay. Now I'm going to go put my hands on the floor, a little deeper stretch. If you can stay at your shin, you stay at your shin. We'll do one more. is we're going to do an upper body move, a core move, and then we're going to do a cardio move. Each move will be 30 seconds. We'll go through, do each um, exercise, and then we're going to have a little rest, and then repeat two more times. If you need to take down the intensity at any time, please do so. If you need to modify, you modify. Don't focus on whether you used to be able to do something or not. This is about focusing on the present and what you're able to do now. We'll do hip openers. It's really important to focus on you when you're exercising and not comparing yourself to everyone. Everyone's level of fitness is different. Focus on showing up and working on you and taking care of your health and your well-being. Last one. So I'll show you the first set of moves, the first set of three moves. We're going to start with tricep push-ups. So you have options with this. You may be able to do the tricep push-up from here. That, for me, is too much. So I go down to my knees, arms under the shoulders, and go down and up. Keep the elbows tucked in at the sides, and you can modify that way. Or your other option is if you have an elevated surface, you can always do it like this. Whatever works for you. That is move one. The next move is a plank hold. So you go down, wrists under your shoulders, and you hold. Your feet are a little spread apart. You could also bring them together if you choose. You don't want your back arched. You don't want it up like this. You want it in a more neutral position. Relax the neck and look down. If that's too much for you, go down to your knees. 
The last move is going to be high knees in this first set. So high knees looks like this. If that's too much for you, stay in place and lift the knees. All right, we will get started in 25 seconds. Get a drink of water, get a towel if you need it, and get ready to go. Start in nine seconds. We're gonna go through all three exercises, no break. If you need to take a break, take a break. Tricep push-ups, let's go. Modifications are great. Going into that plank hold in two seconds. Plank hold. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep that core engaged and strong. Got 10 more seconds and then we go to the high knees. You can do this. I know it's hard. You can do this. High knees. Challenge yourself a little bit. Maybe you do a little bit with the run, a little bit modified. You go back and forth whatever works for you and where you're at today. Five seconds, push a little more. Rest, get a drink of water if you need it. We're gonna do that one more time. going to go back to those tricep push-ups and this time I am going to do it on the elevated surface. Ready? Go. Ten 
seconds. Go down to the plank hold. Keep that core engaged and strong. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Go down to your knees if you need to. 10 seconds. High knees. Last time, high knees. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I know it feels hard. Five seconds. Rest. Good job. Catch your breath. Next, we are going to a circuit of arm circles. So we're doing 30 seconds of each again. Arm circles, knee drive. So we'll do 15 seconds on one leg, 15 seconds on the other leg, and then fast feet. If this is too much, you could always do like a fast walk. We'll start in 15 seconds. Deep breath in. circles go halfway through we will do the opposite way arm circles look super easy you fatigue over time switch opposite way five seconds we're going that knee drive Go. See how I'm pulling in on one side. My core is engaged. Get ready to switch. Switch. You can feel that in your stabilizing leg through your quad. Three seconds. And we go to fast feet, go. You can hold your arms here. You can move them. If you need to, do a fast walk in place. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, rest. How's that one feel? Different than the other one. Work some different muscles. In 10 seconds, we'll do the arm circles again. Three, two, one, arm circle. Body weight exercises are great for strength. You can always add weight to body weight exercises, but you don't, opposite way, but you don't need weight in order for strength. If you don't have weight, just do body weight. Go into that knee drive. Go. It is recommended we do two days a week of strength training. Switch sides. Five seconds, we're going to fast feet. 
Go, fast speed. If it's too much, take down the level of intensity. Do a fast walk. 10 seconds. You can go a little faster. Two, one, rest. Get a drink of water. I'm really proud of you and I hope you're proud of yourself. Doing something outside your comfort zone isn't always easy, but you'll feel good when it's done. 10 seconds. We're going back to the arm circles one more time. Arms out. Go. Get ready to switch. Opposite way. Next up is that knee drive in five seconds. Knee drive. Keep the core engaged. This is too much. Slow it down. Get ready to switch. Now. Going to fast feet in three seconds. Fast feet. Can you go a little faster this time? If you want, you can always move side to side. Not stay in place. 15 seconds. We're doing awesome. Three, two, one, rest. Our next circuit, we're going to start with a standing chest press. So you're going to push out and pull in. Push out, pull in. Push out, pull in. It's a slower movement to work that chest and you'll feel it in your back as well. Then we're going to do side bends. And the last thing, mountain climbers. So you'll have wrists under your shoulders, bring legs in. Go at the pace that's comfortable for you. You need to slow it down, no problem. Stretch a little bit and then get back to it. Start in 25 seconds. Deep breath in. Blow out through the mouth. We're going to start with that standing chest press. Feet hip width apart. Go. Push out and in. Try to create some resistance by squeezing your chest some. Ten more seconds to go. And we're going to those five bends. You're trying to go down toward your knee. Maybe you can go mid thigh. Whatever's comfortable for you. We don't want pain. You're having pain. Stop. Go. 
Anytime you show up for yourself with a win. Maybe today you can do 10 minutes. Maybe tomorrow you can do 20 minutes. Maybe the next day is 10 minutes again. The day after it might be 30. Make sure you're taking at least one rest day every week. Side bends. It is important for the body to rest, repair, recover.
the hand. Thank you for joining me for today's workout. Do some more of a cool down if you need to, and know that you can exercise for reasons beyond the scale, and have a great day.